Hey everybody, welcome to today's voyage. Welcome. So today we're going to take all of these Sonic games for Sega Genesis and see what happens when you put them on top of the Sonic and Knuckles cart with lock-on technology. Lock-on technology? What is that? You know, I don't know, but we're going to find out. Alright, Sonic 1 is in. Let's see what happens. Cool. Hey, so, what's it supposed to do when you turn it on? I believe it's supposed to say, yep, it's supposed to say no way, no way, and then you press some buttons, and it takes you to the blue sphere game. Is it one of those very repetitive, hardest freak modes? Well, I never got to play it much when I was a kid, because I wasn't that great at Sonic. I did beat Sonic 1 when I was a kid, but... I wasn't like going for perfect or nothing like that. Right. Well, I hate telling you this, but your natural race car driver in you is making you do laps. <laughs> I genuinely, I, I was like, what? Uh, okay. It makes sense. When in doubt, turn left. Right. <laughs> there it is. Oh, motherfucker! Yeah, that was awesome. That's what happens. So, that's the Congratulations. One. All right, cool, man. That was yeah. a good deal. But you want to do the next level? I do not. Sonic 2. Oh, yeah. So, what's, the spe what's special about this one? This one, you're supposed to be able to play as Knuckles in Sonic 2. And really? Son uh, and Knuckles has uh, special characteristics. See. So he can. So he's like. So he can fly. Yeah, he can float. Oh. He can get his ass beat too. Just like everyone else. Oh shit. He's like Superman. He's really floaty. I just want to show that. Ah, okay. So he can climb vertical surfaces. Yeah. You can. You can attach to the wall, but then you can go up or down with him too. So basically, it just he, it, playing his knuckles makes playing Sonic Two much easier. Major advantage. What a what a weird, you know, set of you know you had to do this to do that. You know, you had to combine this game with these. I mean, it's genius for marketing because, you know, any any curious kid, you know, back in the day, would be like, holy crap, if I have both of these, I get this one thing. It was like, dude, it was literally like DLC before DLC was DLC. Sonic 3. So what's so special about these? Now, I know you said that it gives you the ability to save. So from what I know, Sonic 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles was supposed to be one game combined, but Sega realized that it, it, wasn't gonna, it was going to be a lot of money to fit it on one cart. Mm -hmm. So they split it into two different games, but by doing it, like you said, you gain the save state and you can play as any character for Sonic 3. Okay. Um, so, pretty cool. It's just odd the way they did it. And, uh, I forgot to mention, depending on who you pick, you get different playthroughs. So, by me picking Knuckles, I get a different story than if I would have picked Sonic or Tails. There's actually a story and not just charging through the Well, levels. just, you know, different, a different game, different gameplay. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Hmm. It looks like you exploded a commode. Did he just punch his own sign? And he went, hi, Dukin. Anyway. So, that was Nino Mosquito. Sonic 3. Sonic 3D Blast. Yeah, so what's so special about this one? Uh, not really sure. Huh. Um, we're getting ready to find out. I bet. Uh, it not. looks like... Knuckles. Yeah, so from from what I've, what I've seen, if the game is over 4 meg, then it just loads Sonic and Knuckles. Yeah. The newer stuff, anyways? Like the well, later generations? The... Something with the lock-on technology. If the game is over 4 meg, then it, it loads. 
Sonic and Knuckles. Yep, just Sonic and Knuckles. Yep, cool. Sonic Spinball. All right, so enlighten me. What's Sonic, Sonic Spinball, Spinball supposed to do to it? I really don't know. I, you know, uh, apparently it is less than four meg because it's doing the same thing as Sonic One. Yeah, but their their colors are a lot more muted and pushed out. Oh, it's, it's Sphere World. Yeah, but it's not the same first world. You notice that? It's the same 32 by 32 grid. But graphically and gameplay, it's the it's same the, thing. Yeah, it loaded the same game yeah. as before. And it's much harder getting the reds. Yeah. yeah. But it's just the spear game. Yep. Yeah. All right. So Sonic's not in the title, but still a Sonic game. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. It's my favorite game of all time. You want to know why? Probably not. Okay. Oh, so... Oh, shoot. No it's going to send you no back way, to... No way, no way. Yeah. <laughs> is it different? Is it different? It is Colors. different. So, that's... Something. Kinda cool. Yeah. They don't load exactly the same, even though it loads the same game. Yeah. You know, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, you know, that'd be a good name for a coffee shop. Actually, yeah. That, I, you know, like a I, video game thing, coffee I shop? Bet, I bet someone's got it. Well, you couldn't use Mr. Robotnik, so that's copyrighted by Sega. <laughs> the backwards man, the backwards man, the backwards man, the backwards man. Backwards man, the backwards man. Backwards man, the backwards man. But what was a... Uh, oh, Hadouken! Holy <laughs> shit! Oh. But you got, you, you, got, you, you got red pilled. Anyway, it's uh, it's the same sphere game. You just start on a different stage with a different cart, yep. apparently. Sonic and Knuckles on top of Sonic and Knuckles. What? You crazy. It's Sonic and Knuckles. Who would have thought? Who would have thunk it? I swear if I have to watch this again. No. <laughs> no. It's the same. Yeah. Two carts together, same game. I got gotcha. you. So, just for shits and giggles, we just picked a random game. And what better game than Ghostbusters since we're using this old Ghostbuster house as a table? Right. Thank You know, we're going to give him a little homage for giving us a little hand throughout the video tonight. And it's fitting for oh, your namesake. No way. Sphere World? Oh, no. Is it a different world? It's going to be green. I it knew it was going to be green. Eh? Ball ball. Yeah. Can, if you can do it, if you can. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't even get it out in time. With all the other games, we, we figured this was one of two options. And uh, I kind of figured it would be Sonic and Knuckles being played because I figured it was over four meg, but. At least we got a different level on the sphere game. Yeah. All right. So we tried all six Sonic games, seven if you want to count Sonic and Knuckles on top of each other, and a random uh, Ghostbusters. So, Ash, uh, what's your favorite? Uh, the Dr. Robotnik. Uh, the Mean, mean Bean, Bean Machine. Uh, the name solely. Uh, they were all cool, but I like Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. I, I, honestly, I got to go with Sonic, too. It's, it's awesome that you can... Get the advantage in Sonic 2 if you had trouble playing his knuckles. You know, yeah. to float and climb walls and stuff. Genuinely, as for something that changes gameplay, Sonic 2, hands down, is the best. It is still awesome, though, that, you know, the Sonic 3 and Knuckles was intended to be the one game. Yeah. And it's cool to put them together and be like, this is what was supposed to happen. Yeah. But we didn't get that. Yeah, but for the advantage of gameplay, Sonic 2, hands down. I think so, too. All right, until next time, we'll see you guys. See you next voyage. Bye.